Hey guys, this is Tamiko with Passports and Grub. Happy Monday. So I decided to do a quick video on the coronavirus. And one, because I was scrolling through Facebook over the weekend, as we all were, and I saw a few different articles stating that black people cannot contract the coronavirus. Now, I'm not sure if that is true or not. So I decided to do a little research. I myself was supposed to be traveling to Italy tomorrow for TBEX. Uh, TBEX is one of the largest travel conferences for content creators and travel bloggers, and I was going to be there speaking on personal branding. So the conference has been postponed. There's not a new date set yet on when the conference is going to occur, but when it does, I will follow up, let you guys know. So back to black people cannot get the coronavirus. After doing a little research, I found there were three people um, that contracted the coronavirus in Africa. There were two in Africa, one in Egypt. I believe, I'm not 100% certain, that one of the people in South Africa um, that contracted the coronavirus has stated that his, his physician told him that one of the reasons he did not get sick and that he is alive is because of his black skin or darker skin. The physician advised him that antibodies of black people are three times stronger, powerful, and resistant compared to those of white people. Again, I will take that. So even with that being said, and there's no scientific proof that this exists, but of, out of all of the cases, there has not been anyone that is African-American or black except for this one guy that has come forward, which is causing people to speculate that black people are immune from the coronavirus. And I can't say that that is true, false, or whatever. All we know is that only one person that is African-American or African descent has stated that they have contracted the virus and that they are doing well and that they are okay and that their physician advised them as to why they did not get sick as everybody else has. So with that being said, how are you staying safe? How are you allowing, you know, because you're black, are you gonna say, well, I'm just gonna go and travel wherever? What are you doing? What precautions are you taking with the coronavirus? So I pulled up a few things. So how do you prevent the spread of the coronavirus? The best thing you could do is frequently wash your hands. Now, this is what I'm confused about. Why haven't y'all been washing y'all hands before the coronavirus? Y'all grown folk not washing y'all hands after y'all go to the bathroom, before you prepare dinner. Whatever you're doing, you're outside all day long, touching your nasty cell phones. Why are you not washing your hands? I'm so confused by that. Everybody is acting like this is their first time ever hearing that they're supposed to be washing their hands. And not just running cold water on your hands when you leave the bathroom. That is not getting germs and piss and all the other stuff off your hands. You need to be washing your hands with soap and water. I'm so confused by that. Stop touching your face. Now, I know I have a hard time touching my face because I have a pimple here, so I've been picking with it, but I've been trying to make a conscious effort to keep my hands out of my face. You touch your cell phone, you touch your computer, you're touching everything, and you're putting your hands right in your face, which has all these germs on there. So those are just some minor things that you can do and drink water. I was listening and I was just about to touch my face where it's itching because I have a zit right there. So I stopped myself, right? So you got to be able to realize that you're touching your face and that you should not be touching your face after you've had your hands on your cell phone. So I was listening to the CDC this morning and they were saying drink plenty of water because even if you digest the virus, drinking water 
pushes the virus down into your uh, into your stomach and the acids um, in your tummy is going to stop the virus from spreading. So make sure you drink plenty of water. Stay home. If you have a fever, if you have a cough, if you have a sore throat or shortness of breath, make sure you stay home. I was also listening to the radio this morning and they were saying that everybody should be taking a 10 second breathing treatment in the morning. Hold your breath for 10 seconds. And if you don't have any problems breathing, then you are good to go. If within 10 seconds you start having a hard time breathing, then you need to be headed to the ER or call your physician and see if you can get a test. But people, let's please wash our hands. I don't know if black people are immune to the coronavirus or not, but I'm going to take it. I'm headed to San Diego in two weeks. I'm not afraid to travel. I always wash my hands when I come from the bathroom. I'm not just sitting around wishing, hoping, and praying. I have good hygiene just because, anyway, that's what you're supposed to do. Because y'all just walk around nasty. I'm so confused by that. Like y'all grown people walking around nasty. How is that even possible? In 2020, that y'all going to the bathroom and not washing y'all hands. Y'all just finding out in 2020 that you're supposed to wash your hands. Y'all the reason why I don't do potlucks. But anyway, that is it for me. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Passports and Grub. I am Tamiko Harvey. Peace out on this beautiful Monday morning.